Well, it has been a wonderful coincidence that we have indeed managed to find this tree. Now we are looking at the Nupthorn. And, it's, and I say a wonderful coincidence because not... Oh, I'm going to fall now. Not too many of them have actually got their leaves at this time of the year. So you come and show us your leaves, pretty little Nupthorn. Very big, roundy leaves. That's very characteristic of the Nupthorn. And of course, all of the hook thorns that are everywhere around here. So I'm actually just going to try and be careful and not get fully hooked here. But there, can you see it there? I think maybe my hand is shaking, but there's a little hook thorn over there. Very powerful little thing that's able to, or that helps in defending the tree from all of the little nasty creatures like the antelopes that want to come and eat it. Now, don't hurt me, Nubthorn. So it's called the Nubthorn because of, I don't think they are all that obvious, but I don't know, Seb, if you can see the bark quite nicely from where you are. And you see there are little nubs protruding from the main stem, the main bark of the tree. And that's where this type of acacia gets its name as Nubthorn because of all the little nubs in there. And they are all used, funny enough, a lot of the times the local communities come and they cut them from the trees and then they crush them and they use the powder as um, an anesthetic, especially if you've got some toothache, apparently it's quite good to put it in there. Now, we've got the younger version of a Nubthorn here and then, luckily enough, we've got the older version all the way at the back there, even with some pods. So, how amazing is that? We've got all the wonderful distinctive features of the Nubthorn. We're just missing the flowers, but I'm sure those ones will be able to start seeing them soon enough. So that's what the tree is going to grow into, into a big nubthorn. So you see, as it starts getting older, then it starts losing some of the nubs on its bark, but it'll be still around in the younger, the younger branches.